Rust, a memory-safe compiled programming language that delivers high-level simplicity with low-level performance. It's a popular choice for building systems where performance is absolutely critical, like game engines, databases, or operating systems, and is an excellent choice when targeting WebAssembly. It started as a side project of Great on Horror in 2007, who named it after the Rust fungus. It was sponsored by Mozilla in 2009, and has been ranked the most loved programming language every year since 2016, with its fans being known as Rustations. Traditionally, high-level languages provide a garbage collector to nerf your control over memory management, while lower-level languages provide functions like free and allocate to shoot yourself in the foot. Rust takes a different approach. It has no garbage collector, but achieves memory safety with a concept known as ownership and borrowing. By default, every variable in Rust is immutable. This allows values to be used in the stack memory, which has minimal performance overhead. However, mutable values or objects with an unknown size at compile time are stored in the heap memory. Every value in a Rust program is assigned to a single variable known as its owner. When that variable goes out of scope, the memory allocated to it is dropped automatically. In some cases though, you may want to pass a reference to a different part of the program. Borrowing allows you to access a reference in memory without taking ownership of it. There are a ton of rules to go along with the system that the Rust borrow checker will validate at compile time. These rules keep your code safe while providing absolute control over performance. Rust also has a package manager called called Cargo, where each individual package is a crate. To get started, install Rust, then run Cargo new from the command line. In the main.rs file, you'll find a main function, which is where the program will start executing. Declare a variable with let, followed by its name and type. The value can't be changed or reassigned by default, so add mut to make it mutable. The name of the variable is the owner. A reference to its location in memory can be borrowed by other parts of the program by prefixing it with an ampersand. Then use a macro like print line to log the value to the standard output. Rust also comes with a standard library that contains modules to handle I.O., the file system, concurrency, among many other things. Now compile your code to an executable with the Rust compiler. You just built a memory-safe executable that can handle the most performance-intensive system requirements. This has been Rust in 100 seconds. Hit the like button and subscribe if you want to see more short videos like this, and leave a comment if you want to see a full Rust tutorial. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.